Rainy here and today I'm going to show you how to make some super simple tiny flowers. Now I find making tiny flowers for cards and embellishments a bit fiddly at the best of times but I've started making them a different way and I'm finding it heaps easier so I'd like to show you what I do and in the process of making the flowers we're going to make some uh, texture tape that we can keep for other projects as a bonus. So let's begin. Now I've printed um, some papers from the um, digital grungy papers mega pack that we have in the shop but you do not need to use these you can use whichever papers and colors and card and anything you want but I have just printed these on uh, 80 GSM and I've also printed it front and back just to make it easier. You also don't need to do that but I'll, I'll explain uh, at some point why it's easier if you do it on both sides. So I'm just going to start with this darker blue. I'm going to just, hello Larry, I just began. Larry's got a bit of a sore foot at the moment. We're going to have to go to the vet tomorrow, see if he's trod on something. Yes, I know. Okie dokie. So Larry's now eating food. Let's begin. I'm going to start with this blue paper and I'm just going to start by tearing off a strip like this. You can cut it off. You don't need to tear it. And I'm going to just trim off the white all the way around. this and now I'm going to fold this in half and in half again and using a hole punch that you'd punch holes in your tags I'm just going to punch some space uh, some holes up one side like that turn it round and do the same down the other side and like that alright so don't throw this away this will be some super cool texture tape that you can use on another project at a later time I've got a bit of a collection oops, from uh, doing this a, a fair amount so it looks pretty cool as a little uh, texture under an embellishment or something so you can get a nice collection of those for your grungy laid embellishments or down the side of a journal page. Alright so once you've um, punched all those we want all the dots out some residual red ones from a previous one I've done. Those over there. Right, now this is why I've printed on both sides. Otherwise you've got white on one side and blue on the other side and you'll need to make sure you turn them over so that the white was up. But since I don't need to do that, I'm just separating them as best I can. Separate, 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 like that. Okay, now I have this old glue stick that's dried on the top but under, un, when you break under the surface it's still a bit gluey. I'm just poking the end of uh, a rather fat skewer in there so I want this end to be a bit tacky. And then I'm also going to get a piece of card that I can pop a little glue on, just a little bubble of glue. Using my tacky end of my skewer, I'm just going to press it into one of the circles, making sure that I only got one and there's not a few stuck together. Dip it in the glue, tap off the excess, and now as close to the edge as possible, I'm just going to pat it on the edge of the circles, turning as I go. So I'm putting about five petals per flower, five or six petals. Pull it off your stick and then set it to one side to dry. And we just repeat the process till we've run out of dots. 
every now and then you might need to re-tack your um, uh, skewer because it might lose its sticky. And rather than argue with the dots, I'm just going to re-tack and get a fresh one. One, two, three, four, and five. Easy peasy. Oops. I say easy peasy, but then I'm making it look harder. It's really not, though. Just got a bit of glue stuck on my finger. Come off there. Ah, it's stuck on me and it won't get off. Get off! Alright, tack tack. Stick. Glue. One, two, three, four, five. And pull off. Hazards of gluing both sides. Look, straight dot. I'll take that for the next one. That feels like there's more than one. There is more than one. Okay. Glue. One. Two. Three. Four. And... Stuck to my finger. Five. And... Another one done. Now, I find the more textured your paper, or the more coloured your paper is, the better results you get. And it's all a bit of an experiment each time to see what works best. Colour wise, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. And too close, adjust, extra dots. Off. Try that again. Stick. And good. Get off my finger. Extra tacky glue. One, two, there's more than one there. Three, four. And five. Alright, so with a few leftover dots that made six little flowers, that strip. Let's do the other two colours while we're at it. I'll pop this on fast forward, as soon as I, you now know the process and you can just see them come together. made those flowers. We'll start with the blue ones so they should be mostly dry. And we want one of these um, tools, the ball tools, with uh, it's a pretty small ball on the end. And I'm going to press in the centre of each petal on the side that has the circle visible in the centre. So it looks like I've just curled all the edges up like that and then I'm going to flip it over and press hard in the centre and then we've got this little flower shape like that. Now to finish it off I am going to take some gold card this I just painted gold earlier and my tiny hole punch make sure that's empty And 
just going to punch out a few small gold spots. And this. Shake, shake, shake. Alright, so this is cat food on one side, gold on the other. So you want to get it so gold is facing up. gold press slightly in the glue and press in the centre of the flower use the pokey end of this just to move it and press it in place so that's one tiny little flower Circle centre side up, pressing each petal like that, flip it over, press in the middle. If you find the tool won't give up the um, little gold dot, you can use this ball tool just to drop some, go uh, some um, glue in the centre of the flower and then just drop your gold spot on top and press it in or if you've got one of these fine nibs you can just squirt a little bit of glue straight in the middle whatever you find easier there's two little flowers flower, flower Tiny little spot, maybe a little less than that, but that's all right. And drop the gold in the middle. Press. Tiny little flower. All right. So what we might? Oops, I pressed that in the middle. Petal, 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 petal. Petal, flip it, middle. It's cute little grungy flowers. You can also use uh, some little bling. I've got a bunch of different colours of those. So you pick a colour you think might match, like that blue there might go nice, or even black or a light purple I think we'll go with this light blue here a little bit of glue and Circle side up, press, petals, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on fast forward and you can just see that all the little flowers being created super quick.
have a bunch of quick and easy tiny flowers. Now, I find these are great for just a little bit of decoration on a card or a laid embellishment or a page. You can just put them as a little sort of corner decoration or you can make a full embellishment and just add them on. So I'll just quickly show you how I did this. I will grab got this little um, uh, index card that I've made in a previous video and I've also printed a page out of the leaves collection which is just these uh, fuzzy cut leaves and stems so you can build your own little stems and ivy and stuff like that which like this one I've done ivy and on this one it's just a little bit of extra decoration so we'll just do a few for some extra decoration so these three will do now trying to cut my finger off with the scissors just going to trim these out just give the leaves a tiny little ink on the edge like that. and I think on this one I'll do a little like ivy so I'll start with a real glue stick a little bit of scrap paper to glue on And I'll put this leaf like this. Then I actually need some more leaves. Where did I put them? Right, so I need one that curves that way. This is one here will do. So this one is the next one. Put this one on the back. Come up. Like that. And that didn't have a very good cutting on the stem, so I can still use it. I just need to pick which flowers I want. I like that one, like that, and maybe it just needs one, maybe a couple together. Could put another one somewhere else. That one looks bigger. Just one looks nice. Let's just go with one. Tiny bit from there. Stick him down. And there we have it. Cute little embellishment on there. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!